Hello and welcome to Dad Got This. Today we are going to be putting the Ninja Wood Fire Grill to the test. Grilling, that's gonna be the first test. If you're interested, Dad already did a full unboxing of this thing. I opened it up, I showed all the pieces, step by what it can do. That video is linked in the description if you are interested in watching that one. You can watch it before this one, you can watch it after this one. But today we are gonna try grilling. We're gonna try grilling a steak. Let's get into it. Just to be completely upfront about things, Ninja did send me the wood fire grill. I didn't have to pay for it. I do get to keep it. But they get no input in any of the videos. They don't get to see them before they go up. So this is my true opinion and experience using the Ninja wood fire grill. For today's test, we are gonna be grilling the steak that I picked up at my local Sam's Club. It's a choice steak, has some pretty good marbling on it, but it's a little wet because I just took it out of the package where I had frozen it. Anytime you are trying to get a good sear on something, moisture on the item is your enemy. So we are gonna to wanna to pat this dry and get this steak as dry as we can before we apply our seasoning because if there's moisture on the outside of the steak, the only thing that's gonna happen when you put it on your hot grill is it's gonna sizzle and steam that moisture away instead of creating your wonderful crust that you're going for. So we are gonna get this nice and dry. That's pretty good. Our wood fire grill is preheating on the grill setting high. We're gonna go with a sear and smoke. I, I wanna try the smoking setting on this. So we're gonna sear it on the grill setting, get a nice crust, and then we're gonna smoke it at a low temperature until it comes up to about 128-ish, and then we'll let it rest till it hits 135. That should have it cooked perfectly, nice, medium, rare. And I'm wondering if I'm gonna be able to get a little bit of smoke flavor out of it. This is not normally what I would do. I, would never, I haven't ever smoked a steak before, but I figured, Hey, give it a try. We will do a more in-depth smoking test, maybe on something like a small brisket or something in the future, but let's season this steak up. For the seasoning, we are gonna keep it simple. We're gonna go with some salt, some black pepper, and some go, which is garlic powder, onion powder mix that dad makes 50-50. Don't forget the sides and the edges. Press it in there a little bit. We'll hit that a little bit of extra. Our wood fire grill just beeped at us and said to add food. And we've got some visitors. Fred and the fam are back. Let's go take a look at them. They're always fun to look at. Hi, Fred. Hi, Ethel. This is Fred, Ethel, and their child, Spanky. They are the uh, whooping cranes, or egrets, or they're cranes, sandhill cranes. And they live here, and they come bother me every once in a while. They can be very loud. All right, guys, I gotta cook some food. Say bye. Okay, or don't. One of the most important things when searing is high heat. I wanna see how hot this thing gets. I have a little tool for that. This is a little electric temperature gun. I can shoot things with it and it'll tell me how hot they are. This table is 81 degrees. Let's see how hot the surface of the grill is. That's not bad. About 450 right in the center. To help with the sear, I'm gonna use some avocado oil. It's a nice high heat oil. And to keep track of this, I am actually using my meat stick digital wireless thermometer. There's videos on that. I'll link them all in the description. Decent little grill marks on there. Okay. Come on. Oh, 
We'll let that go for a little bit longer and then we'll set up our smoking setting. We're gonna use the robust pellets. Dad didn't record this for some reason, but set it to the smoker setting, hit that wood fire flavor button, and start. We're gonna set it to 250 degrees. I may have done this a little backwards. I probably should have smoked it, then seared it like a reverse sear, because I don't know how long this smoker is gonna take to come up to temperature. And now I've just got a, a, a seared steak sitting here. It's fine, it's not gonna hurt it, because we're gonna bring it up to temperature, but probably should have done it the other way around. Well, we have some smoke. Quite a bit of smoke. Never mind. That thing heated up real quick. Let's get this thing smoking. That thing is uh, smoking away. We'll see how long it takes. It shouldn't take very long. We're at about 110 degrees already. We're gonna try to pull it at about 128. We'll see if we get any smoky flavor. Very excited about this. Here's what we're gonna do. I had a second steak. I always have a second steak. I threw that completely unseared in the smoker right now. Now that steak was a little bit colder out of the fridge. It had barely defrosted overnight. So it's gonna actually probably get more time in the smoke than it would normally. So that might actually help us to see if we get more smoke flavor. So that steak is sitting inside the wood fire grill right now. I seasoned it, did everything exactly like I did with this one, but we're gonna go with the reverse sear method. This video has turned into a small experiment, but for now, this has been resting for a little while. We're gonna go ahead and cut into it. All right, not bad. Nice and pink, a little bit more of a gray band. Looks good. Most important part, how does it taste? Take a spot from the center. Mmm. That's delicious. I mean, it's a perfectly cooked steak. Yeah, there is a hint of smoke flavor there. Yeah, there's a little bit of smoke in there. I am super interested to see how the long smoked one that then gets a quick sear tastes. I would not call this heavy smoke. Our family, me included, don't like a heavy smoke flavor. So a light smoke flavor, that's good for me. Right, I'm gonna try one more piece. Mmm, that's delicious. Let's wait for this other one. Our second steak is done. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, I didn't get to this one in time to be able to do the sear on the wood fire, so I just threw a quick crust on it with my flamethrower, but this thing smoked for a little while. Ooh, still nice and pink in the center. Oh, more smoky, better flavor. I would definitely smoke it in here until it hits about 125, pull it, and put a crust on it either with a flamethrower or I think I would want to try the griddle, the flat top, and get more surface area on the steak for a crust. But this is a fantastic steak. Oh man, that is delicious. I know you're not really supposed to smoke a steak. It doesn't really get in the smoke long enough, but it added something. It definitely tastes different than the normal steaks I cook. I really like that. If you guys are interested in to see 
more stuff that dad does with the wood fire grill. Make sure you are subscribed and have your notifications on and all that kind of stuff. And if you'd like to pick up your own Ninja wood fire grill, dad has links down in the description. There's sometimes there's coupons down there that you guys could use. They are an affiliate link. It does help dad out a little bit. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it's a good way to get your stuff and help dad out. Yeah, dad may really want to eat this entire steak, but it's supposed to be for dinner tonight. But dad doesn't do outros, so that's it. Bye.